this is a very good position to test anyone's chess understanding. So you're looking at this position. Black pawn is coming here. White has got two pieces. So you can take maximum 10 minutes. You can pause the video now and calculate as far as you can in different directions. Basically, what you have to do is you have to decide whether white is going to win or black is going to win or will it be a draw. You can pause the video now and start your calculation and then we will see where you stand in out of five levels of chess understanding. All right. Now, what do we have in the position? White has an extra rook and a bishop, right? But black pawn is about to promote. So the crux of the matter is, can white stop the black pawn? Because if black promotes and is allowed to stay with the queen, black is winning, right? But is there anything white can do to do, do to stop the pawn? That's the main thing we have to consider first. Now, if you decided that black is winning because black will promote the pawn and white has nothing to do to stop it, then you belong to level A. I am very sorry. You did not think further. You did not think deep enough to look for white's resources. So we gave up probably that there's no way to stop it. Black's going to promote but no, white has one resource left here to fight against black. And if you found rook to h7, then well done. You are in level 2, level B. So rook to h7, if black promotes, then comes rook takes pawn. And after king moves, then again check comes. And when king moves, you get a winning position. White wins because the king just comes in takes the pawn and white has an extra piece. So if you found rook to h7, well done. You are at a good level in chess. But have you seen further? It is not completely over yet. Black has a resource now. If you saw that resource, then even better, you belong at level C. If you found king a5, the point being, if rook takes pawn, black has king a6. And now rook has no way to stop the pawn. If rook goes behind, king also chases him. And black wins. So after rook to h7, king a5 is a resource for black to try and win this. So if you saw that, you are in level C. If you saw king a5 and rook takes king a6. So well done. Now, if you went one more step ahead, if you did not stop your calculation here, then you are an expert, level D. If you found rook to h8, which is a brilliant move because now rook 8 is unstoppable. Whether you push the pawn or move the king or promote, rook will come to 8 and white wins. So rook h7 is not enough for white. It's not enough that white just plays rook h7 because for king a5, you still have rook h8 and white is winning. So if you found rook h7, king a5, rook h8, then great, you are at expert level, level D. Now, the absolute top level of chess players, probably grandmaster level, would look at this position for a few minutes, probably, and will realize that there is a draw that is very difficult to see. It, it might seem unbelievable that white has a way to uh, draw the game here. Or black has a way to draw the game here. Because white has got rook at 7, right? And how can black do anything here? If black promotes, we saw rook takes pawn, that's level 2. If black plays king a5, we saw rook h8, that's level 3 and 4. So how on earth will black draw this game? Black can just promote. After rook takes pawn, black can play king a3 or a5, doesn't matter. And after rook check, the king goes to b4. And when rook takes queen, it is a stalemate. This is the draw. The king can't go anywhere. And the b-pawn is not there. So it's important for the king to not come to b2. You have to go to b4. And if rook goes again, you can again repeat. If rook gives a check, you can again repeat. So there is no problem at all for black. But the draw is very difficult to see. So which level of chess players uh, are you on based on this question, based on this position? Let me know in the comments whether you uh, calculated till level A, B, C, D or E. If you found the stalemate, 
then you are in level E. If you found uh, that black will promote level A. If you found rook h7, level B. If you found rook h7, king a5, then level C. And then if you found rook h8, level D. And if you found the draw, then level E. So promotes. And when rook takes, king b4, king a3. And when rook checks, king b4. So this is a nice position to evaluate our chess understanding and our patience and calculation abilities.